Look to the deepest secrets of different bills Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah Went from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the rap was coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you. All right, now listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least a thousand likes. That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, and hopefully you can appreciate that 9 a.m. and that 5 p.m daily double uploads you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing right now listen today my nephews and nieces what we got going on is we're going to be talking about the stretch five build right now obviously the stretch five uh, well just talk about centers in general centers is not necessarily the sweet point that you want to go you probably want to go power forward you get better badge distribution but you cannot just think about you know, sometimes, or well, I wouldn't say sometimes, I mean, like, most of the Redbird community, we don't necessarily look for, like, the best badge distribution, because if you want the best that badge distribution, it will make play shots, we'll make glass cleaners, etc. So a stretch five is going to be extremely rare. I have not seen a stretch five at all in the park. I have not seen one. Not one at all. I haven't seen a two-way stretch five, nor a stretch five, okay? So, obviously, you want to go center here, and we're going to go with the pure um, shooting pie chart. Now, you can make it out of this one right here, all right? But the only reason why I don't like this one um, is because you just don't have enough rebounding, okay? So I don't like that. And then you can make it out of this one, but you got to go with T-Rex T, T arms, and I don't want to go T-Rex arms, okay? So um, I tried to do some little thinking for y'all to get that out the way. So with this one, at least you can max your wingspan out a little bit and not have T-Rex arms on the center, okay? So that's the reason why I went with the pure shooting pie chart. And then again, I went with speed invert. Now... At 6'9", this build will be at 6'9", and obviously you are pure green, so it's not like you'll be the most athletic. So do you want to go vert in speed? That's the question that you have to ask yourself. You could go pure speed and be a little bit faster, but that vert's still going to be bad. So I'm just like, man, whatever, I'm going to split down the middle and I'm going to go with just the vert and the speed. But you could go pure speed and I'm not going to knock you for it, but it's still kind of hard to be a center and not being able to jump and get a rebound, okay? So, but I'm going to go here. And then what we're gonna do here is this. We're gonna max out our driving layup and our driving dunk, that's it, okay? And then we're gonna max out our mid-range shot, our three-point shot, our free throw. And then we're gonna go 64 here for 24 shooting badge upgrades. Then we're gonna max out the pass accuracy, the ball handling, and the post control. That's gonna give us 12 um, playmaking badge upgrades. Then we're gonna max out the interior defense, the um, perimeter defense, the lateral quickness. We're gonna max out the block, the offensive rebound, the defensive rebound, and then we're gonna let that remaining 21 for the steal. So what you're gonna have here is a really good lineup if you think about it. One, 24, 12, and nine. Okay, so that's not bad at all, right? Now let's go to the body shape. The body shape, we do want to go built. On um, the height, we do wanna go 6'9", okay? You wanna drop that to 6'9", and then go down to 190 pounds. We gotta be as fast as we possibly can. Then on our wingspan, you don't wanna max it all the way out to 91, just drop it down to the 90, and that's it, okay? So that's gonna be the difference. But as you can tell, there is a jump from your block and your defensive re and offensive rebound. But at the same time, hey, if you want to get the name, this is what you want to go with, okay? So now let's talk about a few things. Now, you do know you get a plus eight to your physicals. You get a plus four from 95 to 99 overall. And then you get the other plus four by doing either of these three things. Either A, going into my career. You want to play every single game until you become a starter. Once you become a starter, then you want to sim out the rest of the regular season. You want to play every single playoff game. And then, of course, after you play every playoff game, you need to win the championship. Once you win a championship, that following season, you will have that gym rat badge. Um, B, what you can do is go to the park. You can talk to the guy at the entrance of the Gatorade facility. He will give you a quest. He'll say, hey, just hit level 40 in whatever season you're in. So currently we're in season three. So if you do it in season three, you will have um, hit level 40. You'll get the gym rat badge, but it can be any season, okay? Any season you're in watching this video, just hit level 40, you get the gym rat badge, okay? And then C, which a lot of people do, is just every seven days, head to the Gatorade facility, get a plus four on the workouts, and then obviously that plus four will last for seven days, okay? So what we're gonna be looking at here is a respectable, okay? I'm gonna say respectable, 75 speed and a 75 acceleration, and then you still have a respectable, <laughs> all right, 72 vert, okay? So I wanna say that because it's not bad when you consider this is a pure green pie chart, right? So 75 is not bad, all right? 
Um, on the finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense, rebound, you do get a plus four here. So you'll get a 69 driving layup. Now, it sucks because you're not able to get that long athlete, um, um, athlete, um, athletic layup package or whatever you call it. And then you're not going to be able to get the, the quick drops off one for the dunks. It'd be a 65. So you will just have the basic dunks and basic left. That is a downside. I will want to put that out there. But the plus side is going to be the shooting. Okay. You're going to have an 87 uh, mid-range shot and a ridiculous 86 three-point shot. So you're going to be a really, really good spot-up shooter. And you have 24 Hall of Fame badge upgrades to work with here okay and then another thing is on your playmaking you have a 75 pass accuracy which is very important for any type of build that's a spot up that has to do long passes across the court back to your guard or anything of that nature and then of course on your defensive side this is where things it's a little tricky 64 interior defense is not good the 68 perimeter a lot of quickness that's below average and then of course this is where things get really better guess it will get better with your blocking off his defensive rebound looking at a, um, an 81 block you're looking at a 60, uh, 65 offensive rebound and then an 83 defensive rebound. So those aren't bad, right? And then you have options here. You do not have glass take as an option. Now, this is the thing. Since there is has been a buff to Intimidator, there has been a buff to defense, I would say go ahead and get the Rim Protector badge just because sharp spot up doesn't really help in much category. So for one of the rare times, I would say go ahead and go with the Rim Protector badge, okay? And then here you have it, my nephews and nieces. We have the stretch five, okay? So what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna quickly test this build out. We'll get the 99, and of course, we'll then get you out of here. So let's do this. Let's get him 99 right here, boom. All right, um, here what we'll do is, I will probably just go back with, let me just put, I probably just go um, fearless finisher here, all right? And then on the shooting side, the most important stuff, we wanna go catch and shoot. Um, we wanna go hot zone hunter. Of course, you gotta go sniper. Um, you gotta go blinders. Um, where's dead eye? Okay, you wanna get corner special. This is the thing here, so everybody pay attention here. All right, so we have eight upgrades to go with. All right, well, actually, no, because we're gonna go lucky seven, get down bronze. So we have seven. This is how I would break it down, okay? I would go ahead and get dead eye, believe it or not. I would get dead eye high on Hall of Fame, and then I would get um, corner specials on gold. None of these other badges stand out other than limitless spot up. If you're gonna be a limitless spot up shooter, then by all means, go ahead. Green Machine is good, but that would be better off just being on bronze. There's not really much of a difference there. So this is what I would actually do for that. And then on the play on the playmaking side, this is what I would go with. Obviously, Bullet Passer, Glue Hands. Um, where you at? Here we go. Post Playmaker on bronze. I know that sounds crazy. And then we'll also go ahead and get Unpluckable on gold. And then we'll get Quick First Step and get that, okay? Now, um, there's nothing else here that stands out. Break starter is a good one. If Obviously, if you're trying to run wreck or something like that, yeah, you wanna get the break starter. But if you're talking about just playing twos and then also playing um, threes, then of course, just having that bronze post playmaker when you get the rebound down low, the offensive rebound and passing it back out, that helps out a lot. Just a little boost to your shooter. And then of course, unpluckable, actually it's like this, doesn't really matter. Quick first step, again, are you really gonna be trying to put the ball on the ground? No, but at the same token, it's still good to have, right? So there you have my nephews and nieces. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Defensively, obviously, you wanna go rebound chaser, you wanna go rim protector, you wanna go chase down artist. And then with that last two, let's go, um, let me go pogo stick, let's go pogo stick. All right, um, actually, let's go intimidator. Let me do this. I'll probably go like that, to be honest with you. So yeah, I'll go like this, I'll go like this. All right, I would love Pogo, but I'm gonna go right that, all right? So anyway, there you have my nephews and nieces. This is the Stretch 5 build. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, you subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi, I'll be back really, really soon on the Banger Man. And you know, when I say I'm back soon on the Banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.